everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today I'm going to be doing my full review of the Hit and Move Agility Boxing Gloves. So let's get into it. All right, so I have done an unboxing and first impression of these gloves already. If you have not seen that, be sure to check it out. Um, in that video, I do a walk around of the gloves, kind of show you, give you an up close look of the materials, you know, the leather, the stitching, the liner, as well as put them on the scale, get an idea of, uh, uh, of their weight compared to the tag weight, all that. Since that video, I've been training with these gloves and now I'm ready to kind of share with you my full review, final impressions of them. So a couple things. So first quickly about the gloves, they advertise themselves to be compact um, and they put a lot of emphasis on their padding system, which they say they use a proprietary blend of padding. Uh, they're pretty open about this. You go to their website um, and you can, you can see the diagram of like these four different layers of padding, um, kind of describing the role uh, uh, of each of those layers of padding. They even send you kind of a, uh, they send you a sheet with a, with a picture of it as well. So they're super open about this and, um, and I, I think, you know, are, they're, they're super proud of this proprietary blend that, you know, kind of feel, I think they feel like it, it's what sets their glove apart from other gloves. You know, they're not trying to be a clone you know, uh, like a clone of a Cleto, clone of a rival, clone of a winning, et cetera. They're trying to do their own thing, which is awesome. And that, that ultimately was what led me to these gloves. So that's the premise. That's what they said these gloves were. I've had time to use them. Is it real? So short answer, yes. Um, are they compact? Absolutely. Profile top to bottom, everything. These are a compact glove. 16 ounces um, on the tag. They weigh just over 16 ounces with the strap. These are 16 ounce gloves um, as advertised. Compact on the inside, absolutely. Um, so yes, compact glove, they are what they say. This unique padding, um, yes, I don't, I don't have another pair of gloves that I feel like has this same padding system. So I, I believe they're, uh, what they say uh, is making up these gloves, this unique blend, this proprietary blend they're using. I believe it. I've tried a lot of gloves. I don't have another pair of gloves where the padding feels quite like these. Um, so I always appreciate that where it's not just marketing hype. It's not just a gimmick. Um, they, I feel like these gloves delivered um, in uh, being what they said they were, and that's awesome. Uh, so how did they perform? So the Agility Glove, this is supposed to be uh, their, your kind of like your bag glove, mitt glove, um, that sort of thing. They have another pair of gloves, the Balance, which I've done an unboxing and review. I've also been training with those, full review coming. Um, those are more the all around training, spar, bag, everything. These are more bag work, mitt works, uh, that sort of thing. For that, I think these are great. Um, very compact, very shock absorbing, with good feedback, I think. So I've been training with these on my Nazo heavy bag, which is about 130-ish pounds, 130, 135. And I recently got a aqua bag, the 21 inch, which is about 190 pounds. And I really, you know, uh, for part of my training, you know, kind of testing out this padding was just kind of giving it everything I had. And I never had any issues with the knuckles. So really good padding, very firm, shock, ab shock absorbing padding. So again, gloves doing what they said uh, they were gonna do. So for that type of training, I think these gloves are an excellent option. Um, anything I would change about the glove? Uh, one thing I would change about the makeup of the glove and then one thing just about the design, the makeup. Um, I wish the fingertip compartment was as deep 
as it is in the balance gloves, the, the other version of gloves that this company makes. It's not much deeper, a quarter inch, half an inch at most, maybe half an inch. Um, it just, it, it's just a little more comfortable. Um, now, if I, with my hand fully extended in the fingertip compartment, my knuckles line up just perfect. But if they come back a little bit, then they, they kind of get misaligned on this punching surface. Not a ton, it's not a huge deal. Um, it just kind of shift back some. Does it hurt? Doesn't cause injury? It just, it's just not as comfortable as when it's locked in where it's supposed to be. In the balance gloves, the other version of gloves that Hit and Move make, um, there's just a little more room and that doesn't happen. So it's just, it just feels a little more comfortable. So that's one thing I would make do a little different. Um, the other, while I think this is a really nice design, this is just a personal preference. Um, I just like really clean uh, designs and I think they have a very good logo here with this mix of like an H and an M for hit and move. I would have this kind of be the centerpiece of the design up here on the wrist. And if you want to have the hit and move, maybe maybe have the hit and move down on the wrist, maybe across the grip bar or something. But up here on the bot, like on the body of the glove, I think focusing on this hit and move and coming up with unique colorways, I think would make these, you know, stand out even a little more. That said, I think it's a nice design and that's just a personal preference. Um, those are a couple things I would do differently. So putting all that together oh let's let's talk about price finally so these are 180 us dollars um and i definitely think for the materials you get and the performance you get that these are worth 180 dollars that you're kind of they could be sold for more you know they could sell these for up to please don't do this you know like keep the prices where they're at i'm definitely not advocating you to charge more 200 215, somewhere around there. I think these gloves compete with other gloves in that price range. So the fact that they're 180, um, I think is a great price point. Um, easier for people to uh, try out the gloves. Um, and I personally like always when I feel like I'm kind of getting a deal, you know, you're definitely getting really good value for the money you spend. I definitely think you get that with these gloves. So who are these gloves for? If you like compact, training gloves again not for sparring but just compact training gloves very compact you are going to like these if you really want solid knuckle protection um, so say you maybe you have hand injuries um, these are an excellent choice for the bag as well um, i do think they hold your hand well i talked about the fingertip compartment again that's a that's really a comfort thing not a safety thing. Even my hand moving a little bit, I never, I didn't hurt my hand at all, never felt like I was going to. So it's strictly a, a minor comfort thing. So they hold your hand ergonomically well and the padding is phenomenal. So if you like compact gloves, if you like um, more protective padding, not a puncher's glove feel, not your knuckles aren't coming through this, um, these are an excellent pair of gloves that, that I would definitely recommend. So, which is great because that is what this company advertises these gloves to be. Compact, protective, uh, protective gloves, great for bag and mitt work. And um, they knocked it out of the park. It was, it's very apparent, the more I wore these, it was very clear that a lot of thought and design went into these gloves. That they weren't just like, hey, let's make a clone of another glove, come up with a cool name and some cool designs and you know, kind of flash in a pan, we'll try and get some people to use these. Um, there are a lot of pieces about the glove that I can tell they probably went back to the drawing board multiple times to improve it and make it better and better. And I really, I can tell that, I really appreciate that and it definitely came through in a really good product. So that's my full review of these gloves. Uh, let me know what you think about them down below in the comments. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you liked this review, thumbs down button two times if you didn't really let me know you didn't like it. Uh, if you have any questions about the gloves, throw them down in the comments as well. I, I usually do a pretty good job of replying to those. Uh, follow me on my other social media platforms. Uh, name is Jordan Miller on YouTube. That's the same on Instagram and TikTok. And um, follow me there. Uh, interact with a lot of subscribers there. Talk about boxing gear, all things boxing. So it's just a, another good place to connect and kind of talk about the stuff that we like. Um, but yeah, hope you, oh, where you can get these. 
you can get these. So Hit and Move, they have their own website. I like to shop with Box Up Nation. You can check out his website. He carries these gloves, both the Agility and the Balance, which I'll do a review of as well. Um, and if you use the code JordanMiller10, you can save yourself $10 on the purchase. So um, yeah, I, I would hit Box Up Nation, check out his website. He carries a lot of great gloves. Um, and finally, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, and the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. So appreciate you guys checking out this video. See you next time.